Welcome back. The end of the year means it's time for New Year's resolutions, but there's a lot more to it than just setting goals. 17's Jenny Huss spoke with an expert and joins us now with some tips. Jenny? Michaela, I made an acronym here that I'll explain more in my story, but it's Emma with one M, two A's. Emma can help make sure your resolution doesn't just stay a resolution, it becomes an accomplishment. Dude, I don't know where New Year resolutions came from. I know, right? Yeah. When you set a New Year's resolution, it may fall under one of these. Eat less, drink water. Walk more. To exercise. Save money for my when my retirement. Oh. To just do better in life, you know. But how resolute are you with your resolution? But the food and other things look too good sometimes. Remember Michael Ruiz? His 2024 goal is again to exercise. Have you had any past New Year's resolutions? Of course. What have they been? To exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been very successful, okay. but I'm working on it. Okay. It's a plan. The generic New Year, New Me mindset may not really be achievable. Is it something that's attainable? Is it something that's measurable? Um, also, it might be an accountable with somebody. How am I going to do with setbacks and create an environment that's conducive? Clinical psychologist Dr. Corey Gonzalez says there's been a shift in resolution making. We're seeing that people are more in tune to their mental health. In fact, they're wanting to socialize more with family and friends. I've heard a lot of gratitude. People want to have more gratitude. They're meditating more. So there's a trend of working on our mental health more. But what hasn't changed? If you can do the all or nothing thinking, which you don't want to do, but more of one day at a time, one meal at a time. If you mess up, have humility and try to get back on the path and don't beat yourself up too much. A misconception. <laughs> I don't think anyone uh, really gets to the end of the resolution. It's just a mindset starting the year. That can be avoided. But usually the big fallbacks come from people setting goals that are too high. And a tip for parents helping their kids with resolutions. Dr. Gonzalez says teaching them to take a breather and regulate their emotions is so important. Jenny Hutt, 17 News.